Yaho YouTube, I am Super Ganky, and in today's video we're going to talk about stepping outside of your comfort zone. I don't know how many of you guys know this, but Miami has a public bus system. I'm taking the bus today because I want to go to Keeps Cane. I don't want to have to spend a lot of money on food. Money is usually something that will stop us from wanting to travel. That's just the immediate thought. And if you don't deal with the immediate thought, you'll never be able to break out of that state of mind. So what do I have to do? I have to innovate the way that I think about travel. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking the bus today. As I was filming this video, the bus came late. The bus is supposed to come at 10.53. No, it didn't come until 11 or 3. You gotta wait 10 minutes to get that bus. But, ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to miss an opportunity just because you have to wait to get it. It's not about waiting, it's about preparing. It's about knowing that you're going to do something. It's about wanting to make that step outside of your comfort When you're challenged, when things don't go as expected, don't give up just because you think that it wasn't meant to be. You have to really know what you want to do. You have to really feel where you want to go. We're going to keep staying today on the bus. And I'm excited. I am excited. But it's about keeping that level of excitement every step along the journey. Not just getting excited when you get there. Because if you just get excited when you get there, you may never get there because you don't have any excitement about where you're going. Get excited at every step of the journey. I guarantee you it'll like shed your upper and like hit maximum level at the top. Every step along the journey. Because if you hinge all of your excitement, if you hinge all of your expectations just on reaching the destination, you're never going to be able to value that step that you take outside of your comfort zone. And then if you take the step and it doesn't work out, you're going to be disappointed. And then when you're disappointed, you think that it's not for you. You think that it can't work for you. But guys, keep the Genki in every step along the journey. Talk about being on the bus, being at the bus station. Brickle Station, this is where it's all at. What are some things that you can do to stay excited? For me, personally, I like to sing. I may not be a very good singer, but singing makes me happy, so why not sing on my way to my destination? That is a surefire way to make sure that I stay excited. I stay in that good mood throughout the journey. So think about it, what do you like to do? Do you like to read? Do you like to write? Do you like to sing? Do you like to study? What do you like to do? Think about it, write it down, and then the next time that you're traveling, you're taking a step outside of your comfort zone, make sure to do that thing while you're taking that step. Every step along the way, you have to be thinking about how can you have fun? Because when you have fun, you can stay excited. I was just on the bus, there was these four Chinese people and a Chinese kid sitting across from me, and I was thinking, why don't I sing to them in Chinese? So I started singing It's a really famous Chinese song and all their faces lit up. The kid gave me a high five and it was just, it was so cool. Every step along the way, thinking about how can you make the journey fun? Because that's the best way to make sure that you're satisfied when you reach the destination.